today we talk all about how to keep track of your analog life. Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. When you're starting out your film photography journey, you usually have one camera and one roll at a time. But as you progress with your hobby, you start to collect cameras and sometimes, you know, you go on a vacation and you take a bunch of point and shoots with you and you come back with a bunch of roll of film and when you get your scans back from the lab and then you start wondering which of these images was taken with which cameras. Well today I'm gonna show you my process of how I keep track of all of my files. First things first, it's already a good idea to get into the habit of tracking your shots while you're shooting your images. And the way I do it is with the app Analog. It's a really simple app where I can add all my cameras, I can add the film rolls and I can even meet to the light with the app. So let's just open the app and let's go through one example on how you could do it. So when you first open the app, you're gonna get greeted by this screen and on the top half, you're gonna see the process. So you're gonna have four fields, one field that says all, where you can see all of your film rolls. The second is active, the third is processing and last one is the completed film rolls. On the bottom half, you find the tools this is where you can add all your cameras, your lenses, and then light meter, where you can start metering your scene. So it's best when we just go through an example, let's create a test roll, and then you can see, you can put in the name test roll, and then let's say we're using Portra 800, filling, it, filling out the fields for the film roll, the ISO, and then when you're out in the field, just pull out your phone, meet the light with the app and save the image into the app or the camera roll. And then you have all the metadata you need. Also with the metering function of analog, you can keep track on what shutter speed you've used, what aperture you've used, if you can set it manually. It can keep track on the date and the location. If you don't like using an extra app for that, you can always use your phone's camera so just snap a photo before or right after you took a photo with your film camera. And then you also have the date and the location for referencing later on with your analog picture. When you're done shooting your film and you take out the film canister, I also like to write the date and the camera onto the film canister or the backing paper. This really helps me after traveling when I come back and I had a couple of film cameras with me and a bunch of film rolls just to distinguish and to know which film roll belongs to which camera for later on to type in all the metadata onto the files. So after you've done processing your film or getting back your files from the film lab and then I open Lightroom and convert all my negatives with Negative Lab Pro. The great thing about Negative Lab Pro is that you get a lot of these metadata fields. So when you open the image, you can see on the right side the metadata field and then you can switch into the Negative Lab Pro field and there you can find all the fields like camera, lenses, film, film roll, film type, you can even add information about developing and scanning. And this really helps me later on to automize the sorting of all of my images. Another thing to consider is to rename your files. I'm just gonna show you the system that I work with. It is by no means the perfect or the only way you can name your files, but it really helps me to organize all of my stuff. So I start by naming my files with the date, so the year, the month and the day, followed by a dash and a general location. And all the other informations like the location or let's say the date, I put it into the Negative Lab Pro metadata fields. Now I can show you how you can sort all your files automatically. So in Lightroom, you can create smart collections. So smart collections are just a bunch of rules that Lightroom takes and filter these images after the rules you, you set. So here you can see how I filter my images. I filter them by camera type, by camera, 
by film roll type and even by format. For example, here you can see all my images that I've shot with the SPO 140 or the Canon AE1. Or let's say I want to see all the images I've shot with Portra 400. Or I just want to sort by film type. I want to see all my panoramic shots that I took with the Mamiya 7. And this is just an easy way for me to find all of my images, especially if your catalog is keep growing. This really helps me to quickly find the photos I need. After I'm done digitizing my work, I'm going to archive all my negatives. I usually put my negatives into folders and negative sleeves and I like to write the date, the camera type and the general location on the film sleeve or on a little post-it so it's just easier for me to find what I'm looking for. Here's the newest thing I do. I keep a Notion page or a Notion file where I can list all of the negatives that I have so I can see in which folder all these negatives are. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any ideas on how to improve or a better idea on how to sort things, please let me know. I'd be happy to learn and share this with the community and make an update video. And I see you guys in the next one.